Hey everyone, so today we're gonna keep talking about the vultures. Yesterday we talked about the black vulture, pretty much black all over, found more of in the southeastern part of the US. Today we're going to talk about the turkey vulture. Red head, red feet, uh, looks a little bit different than that black vulture. And turkey vultures are found all over the US. So let's learn a little bit more about them. So this is our turkey vulture. His name is Kramer. And like I was saying yesterday, you can see the difference between black vultures and turkey vultures by looking at that silver coloration that goes down the entire underside of their wings. Black vultures only have that silver coloration kind of on those first five or six feathers there on the tips, whereas turkey vultures have that silver coloration all the way down the entire underside of their wings. Now what he's doing now is he's actually basking in the sun um, and so what they're doing is there's a couple different things one they're just kind of warming themselves up uh, but two we also think that they're kind of disinfecting themselves they're using the uv light from the sun to disinfect all their feathers he doesn't know that the food that we feed him is clean it doesn't have any diseases that he has to worry about and so he knows on a really sunny day when he comes outside to just open up his wings let the sun disinfect them let that uv light disinfect all his feathers now they get that name turkey vulture because you can see on his head he's got that red coloration on his head and then that red coloration on his feet also now if you look at his feet though they're kind of whitish gray they've got a whitish gray coloration to them and the reason for that is because these birds will actually use the bathroom on their legs on purpose uh you know sounds a little bit disgusting to us but like i was saying yesterday these birds can eat things that would really make us sick, possibly even kill us. These birds' stomachs are so strong, they can break it down, disinfect it, and so what comes out of them is actually cleaner than what goes in them. And so they can actually aim their droppings to the left, they can aim it to the right, or they can miss themselves entirely. And basically when they do that, it's just like putting Germex on your hands. It disinfects them, it cleans them off. They've been standing in dead awful disease foot animals all day long. All sorts of diseases could be on their feet when they use the bathroom on their feet. It's just like putting Germex on your hands. You know, there's a shortage of hand sanitizer. So if you want us to, we'll bottle up some vulture droppings for you. I'll get my student worker to do that, not me. Uh, and we'll sell to you if you want. I don't know if it'd be quite as uh, effective, but it works for the vultures. Now, turkey vultures have an incredible sense of smell. Most birds have a very limited, if any, sense of smell. Turkey vultures are the exception. You can actually see in one side of his nose, and right out the other. And we think they have that huge opening to allow a lot of different air to pass through his nose when he's flying around up in the sky. And so when he smells the worst smelling smell in the whole entire world, that's where he's gonna go towards because that's where his food is. You know, these other birds don't really need a sense of smell. Uh, Red-tailed hawks, they're catching things like chipmunks. You've never walked outside and said, smells like a chipmunk's been here. You don't know when a chipmunk's been in your front yard. They don't really need one. But turkey vultures, their food may be buried under leaves. It may be buried under snow. It may be deep in the forest where they can't see it flying above. So turkey vultures have an incredible sense of smell, which helps them find their food. Black vultures, we don't think they have as great of a sense of smell, if any. Uh, they're usually using their eyesight to find their food or they're following the turkey vultures. But turkey vultures have an incredible sense of smell to help them find their food. And they're not dirty birds, they're clean birds. They do a great job for the environment. You know, without them, there'd be dead animals lying around everywhere. There'd be diseases lying around everywhere, it, or uh, spreading everywhere. It would just smell really bad outside. And so luckily, we've got these turkey vultures flying around all day long, smelling for those dead animals. Now, a lot of people ask us, you know, what does it mean when these vultures are circling in the sky? Does that mean something dead is beneath them? That's usually not the case. These birds can find what's called thermals. Thermals are just hot air rising off of the Earth's surface and it rises in a circular motion. And so these birds can find those thermals and it kind of works as nature's elevator for them. They can just kind of get in that thermal, cruise around from place to place. All that time that they're in the sky, uh, they're gonna be smelling for their food, but it just saves them a lot of energy. Instead of them having to do a lot of work, flapping their wings, going way up in the sky, they can just get in that thermal It'll lift them up in the sky, it'll cruise them around from place to place, and they can save a lot of energy that way. If there was something dead beneath them, they'd be down there eating it. They wouldn't be soaring above it in the sky. So that's a little bit about our turkey vulture. His name is Kramer. Uh, he's about the same weight as uh, Melvin. He's a little bit lighter, I believe, if I remember right. Um, but again, turkey vultures are found 
all over Alabama, all over the U.S., whereas black vultures are more of a southeastern species. And so those are the two kinds of vultures that we have here in Alabama. Black vulture, we talked about yesterday, turkey vulture today. Again, not buzzards, because buzzard means hawk, vultures. Uh, thanks for tuning in, War Eagle.